I'm Gail Pennybacher in Dale City, Virginia. One brother is shot by another as police here investigate. I'll have that story coming up in a live report. No kidding. Obviously, Dell and Melissa, this has been a very difficult day this week that school was out here in Prince William County. Just for the past couple of days, children have been out playing, but two brothers were inside their home, the home behind me, and they were playing home alone this morning when tragedy struck. Now Yeah, I'll tell you what, Andrea. The Is there a tag, Manny? Ask Manny if there's a tag.
Hello, mic check, mic check, mic check. That
very flat me to that, Mr. Very provocative. It's a little off the subject. Well, you, you know, it's uh, very, very flat me to that, Mr. Very provocative. As soon as I used that phrase, women's work, I saw you thinking about that. I appreciate your passion, Governor. Um, when when uh, we've looked at the, uh, the way that voter turnout has been steadily declining, here in, in uh, Hopkins, we're looking at uh, in, in implementing the program called Kids Voting, and the governor has been part of that. Uh, Vice President Gore, my, my daughter was had Never about how smart your daughter is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, my question is, how do you deal with voter app? Subject. Well, you, you yeah, know, yeah. it's uh, very, very flat me to that. Mr. Very Vice provocative. President. As soon as I use that phrase, women's work, I saw you thinking about that. I appreciate your passion, Governor. Um, when, when uh, we've looked at the uh, the way that voter turnout has been steadily declining, here in, in uh, Hopkins, we're looking at uh, in, in implementing the program called Kids Voting, and the governor has been part of that. Uh, Vice President Gore, my, my daughter was had Never about how smart your daughter is. <laughs> All right. Um, my question is, how do you deal with voter apathy? The governor has done a wonderful job of bringing people out and, and getting them involved in this democratic system. And the, the morning's paper, I know that you said the other day that you don't want to look at polls too often. And you're actually oh, that's a great question. And everybody here has thought about that, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, I think that. Um, I think there are a lot of things that, that have to be done that aren't normally associated with boosting voter turnout. I think we need campaign finance reform. And if I'm elected president, the first bill I'll send to the Congress is the McCain-Feingold campaign finance reform bill. I want to create a democracy endowment to get special interest money completely out of, of politics. I think we need to restore a feeling of integrity to the political system. I think we need to reclaim it from the special interests and give it back to the people. Um, to increase <laughs> No, it's not Dan Rather, it's John the Roberts. President. <laughs> it's somebody you don't know. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, we uh, no, it's okay. We're in the middle of a uh, press conference here. Uh, this yeah, this is Vice President Gore. Who's this? <laughs> Could you say that again? Okay, the, the mic's not on. Okay, do you have a question? Do you have a question for, for Governor Jesse Ventura? Yeah. Okay, hold on a second. 
Yeah, hello. <laughs> no, okay. I'm, 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 I'm extremely impressed. What, what do we need here? Okay. Hello, Gore News Conference. May I help you? <laughs> well, first of all, I yeah. think that uh, that's that's very. Yeah, strange. this is the vice president. Certainly, I won't even address it. Hi, Craig. How are you? Do you have a question? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, CBS is on the other line, and Governor Ventura is handling it. We're in the digital age here. This is a first for press conferences. Yeah. Or what am I doing spending the day with him? He's the vice president yeah. of the United States of America. Hold on a second. He's no, on no, the no, other line. Excuse me. I haven't uh, seen that, so I I'm going to give I'm going to give you back to her because I haven't seen that yet. Hold on. Chief, and I think it's due respect as a governor when the vice president comes to your state, you spend the day with him, the same as I would do with the president, and uh, you know, so it would end right there. It's my job, and and uh, I'm doing my job. You're welcome. <laughs> I have a Hang that yeah. thing up. <laughs> Mr. Vice President, can I finish my mundane question after all of this? Oh, uh, yeah. uh, Goodbye. A four-way debate with you, Governor Bush, Ralph Nader, and perhaps Pat mm. Buchanan, if you were the Reform Party nominee. Uh, well, I have challenged uh, Governor Bush to debate twice a week. Uh, when I went before the newspaper editors and before some other organizations of journalists, I, I said that I would accept a debate sponsored by any of the organizations in the... Rest and prosperity, the kind of future that we gotta go. Any, any reaction to the Texas parole board's decision uh, not to grant clemency? Did, did it just come down? Just came down within uh, the hour, I think. I do not know the details of, of that case, and so I, I do not uh, I do not have a reaction to it. I will say again, as I've said before, that I support the death penalty. I have not tried to involve myself in the specifics of uh, cases in the criminal justice system. I have said that I've been surprised by findings such as the ones in Illinois, which led Governor Ryan to declare a moratorium in that state. Based on the evidence available to him about the, the shocking number of uh, false convictions, I felt that he did the right thing in calling for a moratorium to try to straighten out the way justice is administered. As a supporter of the death penalty, uh, I am deeply troubled by any uh, false conviction for obvious reasons. Uh, you have an innocent person executed, but you also have somebody who has actually committed that crime still out among the public posing a threat to others. So whether you support or oppose the death penalty, everybody wants to see the administration of justice without these mistakes, with competent counsel, with a system of justice that, that operates effectively. And I've said that any state... The evidence... Uh, I think that wherever the evidence indicates that there everybody knows no no i, I that think some that people get, get innocently killed no mistakes deeply, but I disagree with it. But both sides on that question are in favor of the proposition that the criminal justice system has to be 
as nearly to zero uh, 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 errors as possible. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Party members, Democrats, and future, starting with education. That's a. Is that what you are here? Do you? have influence with independent voters around this country? Well... I don't have, uh, we don't have any attack night. Sir, the uh, Republicans have indicated they'd like an upbeat, uh user-friendly convention uh, this summer. What do the Democrats have in mind? The Republicans wanted to weigh with the Tuesday night attack night, for instance. What we can do to make this country a better place. Texas parole board's decision uh, not to grant clemency. Did, did it just come down? Just came down within uh, the hour, I think. I do not know the details of, of that case, and so I, I do not... Uh, I do not have a reaction to it. I will say again, as I've said before, that what? I had any uh, knowledge of, of the poll that you that you talk about. Yeah. <laughs> 